Hi everybody, Tony here, doing a little guest video for Amy. And I'm trying something uh, some of you guys might find interesting. I'm kind of finding it just a little interesting, but uh, picked up one of these uh, Ancestry.com DNA kits. Now I got Amy one of these a few years ago for Christmas. It was around a hundred bucks when I got hers. They had a sale, something like $59, $49. I, I'm sorry, I can't remember, but it was a pretty good bit off. So picked myself up one. You know, this is the kit. I guess it's gonna be kind of interesting to find out uh, what makes a Tony. Uh, the interesting thing about, oh, well, first off, not affiliated with these guys, not sponsored by them, nothing to do with them. But uh, the interesting thing about DNA, because when we got Amy's results back, well, she was a little surprised. But the more I read about it, it's kind of normal, you know, you've got your uh, grandparents, you know, one may have come from this country, one come from that country, so you would think that... Uh, their offspring, which would have been your parents, would have been half this, half that, and uh, you would have got a quarter of that, and it's turns out it doesn't really work that way. So just because your parents are half one thing, half another, you may get very little of some of that DNA. So it was kind of interesting to see that. Amy can tell you more about her results. I kind of have a short memory, so... Uh, I, um, my great, not my great, but my grandmother is, uh, was half Cherokee and half German and half Cherokee on my mom's side too. So I always assumed I was a quarter Cherokee or somewhere in that area. And my dad's side had always said that they were Irish, my dad's dad, which my family didn't, my mom's family didn't believe, but it turns out um, no Cherokee, no native at all, not even a trace. I had 28% Great Britain, United Kingdom area, 23% Irish, Irish. <laughs> um, it was like 20, 22% Scandinavian, um, Um, also there was what I was not expecting oh yeah there was 10% or maybe a little bit more of Spanish Portuguese which I was not expecting and a trace of Western Asia so yeah there was stuff in there I was not expecting and stuff that wasn't there that I thought was going to be so I'd spent my whole life you know I'm Cherokee you know but I was so happy to get the results that I was indeed Irish. Okay, go ahead. So, going to be interesting. I mean, I've always thought that uh, my ancestry was uh, English and some German in there from what little bit of research I had done. So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see if that really is in there. Um, got the kit. I haven't read the instructions yet. You gotta but work up some spit. <laughs> you have to uh, put some spit in the vial. I'm not gonna gonna spare you that. And you gotta make sure that it's actual spit and not spit bubbles. The yeah. bubbles have to be up on, over the line. Yeah, no bubbles in there. Just spit. It looks like it takes quite a bit in there. Yeah, I was like, God, how much more <clears throat> do I gotta spit? <laughs> There's a little vial of blue something in there i don't you know you mix that with your spit okay i guess you mix that with your spit that spit saver something like that and uh there's a little thing here got some bumps on it i don't know what that is collection bag i don't know but anyway i'm gonna figure it out there's a little um no post is necessary if mailed in the United States of America. So there's this little box in here with a tracking number on it. It's got their address. There's a number on the back. And it does take longer than you would think. So 
course, mine might have took longer because I got mine at Christmas, and I'm yeah. assuming a lot of people got theirs at Christmas. That's that's what I'm guessing. So, I mean, it's going to kind of be interesting to see. Like I said, I'm expecting uh, some uh, British slash English, some German, but, uh, you know, who knows? You should. You may also have, chair, or not Cherokee, but some sort of native. And who knows? But, uh, you know, it's going to be kind of interesting to find out. Along with this, I did get a free membership to uh, Ancestry.com. It was like a 15-day free trial. I looked at it for a couple of days and uh, canceled it. Really not concerned with who my great-grandparents were, their great-grandparents. Uh, like the commercial, it's like my grand or great-great-great-great-grandparents lived across from somebody famous. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> you know, honestly, just to, to be truthful about it, um, what little bit I did see with what they emailed me, was uh, my father, who's uh, been gone for a few years now, had more brothers and sisters than I realized, and uh, his father had way more brothers and sisters. But of course, back in that point in time, it was common for somebody to have 10 children. I mean, they had farms. Um, yeah, my dad had like eight brothers and sisters. So, uh, there was actually a picture of a barn, okay, on the, uh, in the ancestry records that had belonged to, like, my father's grandfather or something like that. But, uh, it's like, okay. And it was kind of interested to see that, uh, a branch or two of the family had a slightly different spelling of the name which uh, I kind of found it's odd and had a few extra letters here and didn't have a letter there. And like I said, not really enough interested to uh, continue with that, but hopefully soon I'll be able to share the results of uh, what it takes to make a Tony. <laughs> you know, not <Nothing>, no. <laughs> you know, uh, snakes and snails and puppy dog tails and a little reptile thrown in there, I guess. But I uh, hope you find this uh, interesting. You know, if you're not interested, uh, leave a comment down below. I won't share it with you, you know, if you are. Uh, hazard a guess. Well, what do you think it takes to make a Tony? Put it down there in the comments. I don't know. This might be a little bit fun. I might say uh, I wasted 50, 60 bucks. Who knows? I think it's one of the best things I've ever done. To so. just know where you came from to me is just wow. I got Viking blood. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, you know, hope you found this interesting. Hope I didn't bore anybody. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. As Amy says, hit that bell so you know when Amy puts out another video. And I uh, hope everybody has a great day.